Hi everybody, and welcome to the Raspberry Pi for the older generation. Hi guys, hi guys, welcome uh, to another video. Hope this video finds you all well, finds you all well. Okay, now in the last video uh, of this project, we learned how to put the circuit together. Now, on mine, I had to do some um, some changes. So I'm just going to show you what changes I had to make. All right. So what we got? This rows on my breadboards. Now, on a normal breadboard, a normal breadboard, all of these. Plus and minus, live and minus are connected. But if you look at mine here, there's a gap. There's a gap. And when I tested my circuits, um, with one of them little meter things, vol voltmeter, are they called? I found that the buzzer wasn't live. Okay? Because on my breadboard, they're not joined across here. They're not joined across here. So what I had to do, if you look here, I've put two uh, jumper wires and connected um, the, the two together, the live, the five volts and the ground. And now when I tested my circuit, my buzzer is now live. Okay, so that's what I had to do. You may not have to do this. All right, you may not have to do this. Right. Should we get on with the code? Should we get on with the code? Okay, let's open Sony. All right. And we are going to start with a blank canvas. All right. A blank screen. Because what we're going to do is start right from the beginning. All right. So. Now. Let's uh, sort my life out. Okay. Now. We are going to be uh, typing a lot of code that you've seen before, but we're also going to be uh, coding stuff you haven't seen before. All right. So we should all learn something. So the first one is import G RPI, capital R, capital P, I, right, dot GPIO, capitals, as GPIO. All right return then we're going to import time right so that's two you've seen before now remember when we did the servo module okay so these commands all capitals s-e-r-v-o underscore min underscore pulse Okay, and that equals 500. All right, you can, but I like to put spaces in, okay. Let me move this mouse out of the way. Keep doing that so you can't see, you can't see the code then, all right. Let's go to the next one. Let me just, I want to do the code, exactly the same code, so if we do get issues, Servo underscore max underscore pulse all capitals space equals space two thousand five hundred. All right, two thousand five hundred. Okay, now we're going to do. Um, this, you know, this is our attributes we're doing. So we're now going to do define our pins. So LED capital P on the pin equals we're going to ask on pin 18. All right. Remember when we uh, connected everything up? PIR pin. And I believe that's on 17. Yep. So that defines our sensor pin. Then we've got our servo. Oh. 
pin. And remember we put that on 22. Right, I'm glad I've seen that already. Typo. So we've got servo pin. And our last pin is buzz. 1Z P I N capital P. And remember that was on 27. All right. Now we have to do our frequencies right for the notes from the buzzer. So we have to do um, a low, a middle, and high, right? Frequencies. So 13, 40, 50. So CL, actually it's capitals, CL space equals square brackets, zero comma space. One three one comma space one four seven comma space one six five comma space one seven five comma space one nine six comma space two one one comma space and two four eight okay square brackets off so that is our low frequency all right then we want cm which is for our medium frequency square brackets on equals square brackets on and it's zero comma space Two six two, comma space two nine four, comma space three three zero, comma space three five zero, comma space three nine three, comma space four four one, comma space and four nine five square brackets off right and now we need our high frequencies capital C capital H equals space square brackets on and here we go zero comma space five two five comma space Five eight nine, comma, space, six six one, comma, space, seven hundred, comma, space, seven eight six, comma, space, eight eight two, comma, space, and nine nine zero square brackets off all right bring this up <coughs> okay let's put some spaces so we can see now um what we're going to do is the song okay <coughs> Excuse me. Right, this is called song. So S O N G space equals space square brackets space capital C H square brackets five square brackets off comma. Right. So, capital CH, square brackets on, two square brackets off, comma. So, that's CHCH. This is CM, square brackets on, six square brackets off, 
comma. Then it's another CH. Square brackets on. Two square brackets off, comma. Another CH capitals. Square brackets on. Three square brackets off. Yeah, comma. Then it's CH. Square brackets on. Six square brackets off, comma. Okay, then it's CH, square brackets on, three square brackets off, comma. Then it's CH, square brackets on, five square brackets off, comma. So we're up to the five. Then it's capital CH again, square brackets on, three square brackets off, comma. Right, then it's CM, capitals, square brackets on, six square brackets off, comma. Then it's another CH, capitals, square brackets on, Two square brackets off, okay, space, square brackets off. Okay, let me just check that to make sure I've got this right. Is there something wrong? Look. Ah, got it. So, song, square brackets on, all right, just go along, make sure I've got this all right, ah, there we go, I'll put a curly bracket, square bracket, all right, I've got a square bracket, go to the end. Bob's your uncle. Okay. Now, what we now need is the beat. So, B E A A T space equals space. Then it's square brackets space. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Five ones. So it's one. Comma, one comma, one comma, one comma, one comma, two comma, and another five ones, one comma, one comma, one comma, one comma, one comma, square brackets off. Okay, we got that. Right, so far so good. Right, we're now coming to our setup. Excuse me, D E F space setup brackets on, brackets off, colons, auto indent global. Space P, enter. Global. Space. Buzz with a capital B, U, Z, Z. Right. Uh, right. Now. So. That, um, oh, it's not global, global buzz, it's global buzz. Right, global buzz, assign the global variable. That's what that's for. All right, 
enter and we got gpio dot set mode a brackets on right a brackets on and it's gpio dot not board but b c m b c m okay brackets on so that is setting our numbering system to the bcm the extender all right then it's gpio dot setup all right let me just make sure i know where i am a uh, brackets on led pin comma and that's gpio dot out all capitals gpio dot out all right so what we're doing we're sending a signal to the led pin basically that's what that means and then it's gpio dot setup brackets on and it's our pir pin capital p on the pin right comma and that's a, a gpio dot in right because when we uh go up to the uh sensor the infrared sensor it's an input right next our gpio another setup a brackets on and it's our servo pin comma and it's a, a gpio dot out all capitals okay because we're going to send a signal uh, to the servo to represent the door opening and closing all right so what we need to do is set the uh, servo pin to a state low so it's gpio dot this time it's output okay what's happened here what's happened here obviously I didn't do my return okay so our output brackets on and it's servo pin right brackets uh, sorry comma gpio dot low brackets off enter right and one more got to set the uh gp uh the buzz pin so it's gpio dot setup brackets on and buzz capital z capital sorry one z capital p on the pin right uh, a comma and that's the gpio dot out brackets off all right so that's um set all our pins okay to the states that we want them in now for the buzzer we need to um, set the uh, initial frequency so capital B U Z Z equals GPIO dot P W M pulse width modulation all right brackets on B U Z pin capital P comma four four O brackets off. All right, this sets the initial buzz frequency. All right, 
So, next, let's just make some uh, room here. Oh, too far. Okay. So we got the buzz. Another buzz. Dot. Start. Right. When we want it to start. Um, fifty percent of the duty cycle. So we're going to put that at fifty. Brackets off. Right. Next. Nine thirty nine. P equals GPIO dot PWM all capitals pole fix modulation brackets on brackets on and it's servo pin capital P comma face 50 brackets off okay set the frequency um to 50 hertz right. enter p dot start brackets on zero brackets off sets the duty cycle to zero right <coughs> now we did something very similar hang on i've missed something here yeah i have okay we did something um similar when we did um the servo module all right if you remember that rightly okay backspace Right, we're starting a new section. But it's new define. Define map. Small case. Brackets on. Right. Value. All small case. Comma. Space. In. Min. Capital M on the min. Comma. Space. So minimum, in minimum, right? In max, name my dog, capital N, okay? On the max, comma, space. Out, min, capital M, comma, space. Out, max, capital M, comma. Sorry, brackets on, colons, return, auto, indent. Right. Okay, just make sure I know where I am. Return. Brackets on, out, max, space, minus, space, out min brackets off space star space brackets on value all small case space minus space in min capital M on the min Brackets off. Space, forward slash, space. Brackets on, in, max, capital M, on the max. Minus, in, min, capital M, brackets off. Space, plus, Out min capital M on the min. All right, so far, so good. So far, so good. 
All right. Return. Return. And we'll be on 946. Let me just take us down a bit. So we can see. Line 46. Def. We're defined. Set. Angle. Capital A on the angle. All right. Brackets on. Angle or small case. Uh, brackets off. Colons return auto indent. What we're going to do, we're going to make the, uh, the servo re rotate to a specific angle between 0 to 180 degrees. All right. So angle equals max or small case. Brackets on zero, a comma. Space min, brackets on, 180, right, comma, angle, brackets off, brackets off, all right, pulse width, so it's P-U-L-S-E underscore width. Right, pulse width equals map brackets on angle comma space zero comma space one eighty comma space <coughs> right, all capitals this servo underscore min underscore pulse comma space servo max pulse. Right, servo underscore max underscore pulse. Brackets off. Re enter. Okay, now we're going to deal with the uh, pulse width modulation. So PWM, also small case, space equals sp uh, space map. Brackets on. Pulse. Underscore width, comma, space zero, comma, space twenty thousand, comma, space zero, comma, space one hundred. Brackets off. Right. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. Next, P dot change duty cycle. We've had this one before. Change a duty cycle. Brackets on, PWM, brackets off. Right. This maps the angle of the duty cycle and out and outputs it. Okay. Well, yeah. <coughs> right. Enter. Enter. Backspace. We're now going to do the doorbell. We're going to do the uh, set up the the doorbell noise. Okay. So it's D F. Doorbell. All small case. I believe, yep. Brackets on, brackets off, colons, auto indent. Flying range. Right. 
for i in a range brackets on one comma space len brackets on song brackets off brackets off play song one we've already uh, written the code for song one up the top all right near the top colons auto indent buzz dot change capital F on frequency right buzz change frequency capital C capital F brackets on song square brackets I square brackets off brackets off change the frequency along the song note I write that code let me just check it buzz change frequency C yeah frequency spelt correct song oh, bump. yep okay enter time dot sleep brackets on beat Square brackets, I square brackets off. Space, star, space, naught point two five. Brackets off. It's the time dot sleep. Enter, backspace, backspace, and time dot sleep. Brackets on, one, brackets off. Okay. So, let's just uh, quickly explain this code. The first line is, oh, wait a minute, play song one, all right. And then the second line is change its frequency along the song. This one is delay the note for beat by 0.25 seconds and then wait for the next song by a second all right cool right we go to our next one backspace we need to start again another another define okay so define Close door. Okay, we want oh, close door. Brackets on, brackets off, colons, auto indent. Right. So this is to these two next defines are for the servo. All right, opening and closing the door. Right. So, GPIO dot output. Brackets on. LED pin. Capital P, comma. Right. Space and we want it to start off low. Brackets off. Enter. Right. I'm just checking something. Okay. Four. I in range. Brackets on. 180, comma, space, minus 1, comma, space, minus, sorry, minus 1. 
brackets off. Uh, make the servo rotate from 180 to 0 degrees. All right. Colons auto indent. Set angle capital A. Brackets on, I brackets off. All right. Come down a bit. So we're at the set angle. Brackets on, a bra I brackets on, brackets off. Time dot sleep. Brackets on. And 0 0.001. Brackets off. Okay, enter. Backspace. So we're coming under the four. All right. We're coming under the four. Then we have another time dot sleep. Uh, brackets on for one second. Uh, brackets off. All right. Enter. Backspace. Now we're going to do the a uh, closed door. <coughs> Excuse me. Line 64, yep. Def. Define. Open. Door. So this is for when the, uh, we want the door, you know, the brackets on, brackets off, colon. You know, the configuration for when the door opens. All right. So it's another GPIO. Dot output brackets on LED pin comma GPIO dot high. We want when the doors open, we want the LED light to come on. All right, brackets off for I in range for i in range brackets on zero comma space one eight one comma space one brackets off colons enter auto indent make the servo ro rotate between naught and 180 degrees now we're going to set the angle so right to servo, set capital A on the angle. Brackets on I, brackets off. Right to the servo. Yeah. Enter, and it's a time dot sleep. Okay. Enter. Let's do a few spaces so we can get in the middle space a few more okay so uh, we've done set angle and we've done a time dot sleep right let's do a backspace and a time dot sleep again And this time we want it for and one second. Enter. Doorbell. All small case. Brackets on, brackets off. Enter. Close door. Brackets on, brackets off. Right. We're getting on, we're getting on. Okay, just a little bit more to do. Backspace. We're going to do our loop. Okay, you should all know this. Colons. Enter 
auto indent if the GPIO dot input our argument brackets on PIR pin capital P on the pin brackets off equals equals G P I O dot high yeah Let me move this out of the way so you can see. Yeah. Colons. Enter. Open. Door. Okay. Brackets on. Brackets off. Here we go. Enter. 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 Backspace to the beginning. Def. Destroy. We're on the last legs. We're on the last legs. Brackets on, brackets off. Colons. Enter. Let's get some spaces in there. So you can see. <coughs> GPIO.cleanup. Brackets on, brackets off. P dot stop. Brackets on, brackets off. Buzz dot stop. Brackets on, brackets off. Right. And then it's our normal backspace. If space underscore underscore name underscore underscore yeah space equals equals space exclamation underscore underscore main underscore underscore quotes colons yeah program start from here set up brackets on brackets off enter try colons enter sorry Yeah, try loop brackets on brackets off. <coughs> Excuse me. Enter backspace except space keyboard interrupt. Capital I on the interrupt. Okay, when control C is pressed, enter program. Colons. Yeah. Enter, destroy. Brackets on, brackets off. Right. Now, what we didn't do at the beginning, destroy. Okay, and that's that, that's the code, right, that's the code, let's do a file, should have done this earlier on, shouldn't we, save as, I'm going to call mine, welcome.py, don't forget the py, and okay that that's saved right just looking for any typos at the moment 
Yeah, but the best thing we can do is just run it. See what happens. That's the best thing. Let's have a look. Okay. Right. Line 17. Ah, seen it already. Let's stop this. Should be a zero. All right. Save it. That's a typo. Right, something's happening. Right, stop that. Line 17. Right, okay. Let's run it again. Line 70. Let's look at line 70. Doorbell. Line 70. D double O. Bell. Close door, time dot sleep. Time dot sleep, zero, zero. Hang on, let's look, line 68. Time dot sleep. Ah, right. 69. I've got some code. That's probably why it's going off loony. Line 68, line 68, yeah. So, brackets on. Zero, point zero, zero, one. Brackets off. Save that. Right. Doorbell is not defined. Look at line fifty two. Getting used to this. Doorbell. All right. Another typo. See what happens. Right, we're working. We're working. Right. Let's come back to here. Let's go to overhead. All right, I'm going to show you this working. I'm going to run the program. Try to get my hand out of the way. All right, let's run the program. Okay, you can hear the noise, I hope. Someone comes up to the door. Someone goes away. Closes. Someone comes up to the door. LED comes on, the door opens. Out. There must be something interfering with it. There we go. Open. You hear the sound, close, open, close. Notice it doesn't close straight away because you've got the delay. Because someone would be walking through the door and we don't want it shutting on them. Okay, let's stop that, let's stop that. It worked. 
we had a few typos we had a few typos but that's our first project done give yourselves a round of applause well done well done okay so hopefully you learned a lot there our first project we've combined we've combined um one two three four elements or four modules that we did in previous videos we've combined four modules we're going to move on we're going to move on um i might look at the camera next which i, I probably will um and it's about time okay but um i've been uh, there's an update i've been doing some research there's a, an update um we have to use um something called open cv for our cameras these days with this new if you've got the 64-bit bullseye on your raspberry pi you'll have to do this if you've got the old 32-bit you can carry on with the legacy camera but with the new bullseye 64-bit we knew we need to do um it's not complicated but we need to do a little bit of work on that anyway thanks great first project done hope you enjoyed the video if even if you didn't <laughs> even if you didn't please give us a thumbs up comment below and don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye